Welcome back. Clear skies and rising temperatures mean it's getting closer to pool season. But before swimming, it's important for you and your children to learn the safety measures before you get in the water. June Hamburg is the director of swim lessons at Warner Robins Aquanauts. She says a lot of accidents occur when children are left unsupervised. You need to keep your eyes on your child at all times. Um, if they're a non-swimmer, you need to be in the water with them and hands on them at all times. Hamburg also warns lakes and rivers can be dangerous for all swimmers due to uncontrolled factors like visibility or swim currents. Anytime you're in open water, you should also have a life jacket. So um, some type of life preserver because there's currents and stuff involved that can be difficult for even good swimmers. According to Hamburg, accidents are just as likely to occur in backyard pools. She says the best way to prevent an emergency is to have safety measures in place. If you're going to have a backyard pool and, you know, more than likely you're going to have children around at some time. So you need to have barriers between your home and the pool. Some of these barriers include child locks on doors leading to the pool, self-closing gates, or fencing around the pool. Hamburg recommends hiring a lifeguard to supervise pool parties. She says the safest ways to swim are facilities with these precautions in place. So at our facility, it's a very controlled environment. So we only are open for lap swim. Um, we always have uh, lifeguards on duty. Um, and so the pool is constantly being watched. In Warner Robins, Andrew Willis, 41 NBC News. Well, according to the CDC, drowning is the leading cause of injury-related death among children ages 1 to 4. And that's why Hamburg urges parents to always watch their kids and never let them swim alone.